Hello. I will show you how it's important for me to keep the telescope balanced. Now, as you can see, it has no eyepiece now. In a previous video, I show you uh, how I use the magnets. This has magnets. It has a lot of weight and I can move from here to here. I can just slide it and it's a good way to, to keep the, the scope balance. So as you can see, uh, the scope is balanced, but it has no eyepiece, no weight here. Okay, now let's see what happened when I put uh, an eyepiece with a filter wheel for visual. The filter wheel I, I bought it uh, to, to use in visual and it's uh, very heavy. That's the reason why uh, many people do doesn't use, don't use it with, um, with this kind of scopes. Um, but if you keep the balance, if you figure a way like I did to keep the balance, especially if you use a, an equatorial platform, it will be everything smooth. Now, this is a filter wheel, okay? With uh, it's heavy, with an eyepiece attached. It's an eyepiece that I use. You have also the review of this eyepiece. It's very nice. Um, and let's see what happened. So, if I put this eyepiece with a filter wheel, you can see the nose going down. Okay. Now, usually, when uh, I use only an eyepiece. What I did was to just slide the, the magnets and the things work fine. But, uh, and also I have here another uh, counterweight here, a fixed one, a chain. So, with only one eyepiece, this should work fine. But with this weight, look at this again, okay? Look, look, look at this, nose down, okay? Because this is heavy. And I also, sometimes I put a barlow with this, with this setup. So it will be even worse. And uh, besides my barlow is a, a, an Explore scientific one. So as you know, it's heavy, but it's good. So what I did, was first in the video you have the first video you have only this as I was going to as I was putting adding more more weight to, and working with more weight I had to do this I have a fixed this is a variable uh, counterweight I have a fixed one with uh, the chain here I will show you. This is so heavy now, but no problem. I will show you. So you can see here, the chain, it doesn't interfere with the knobs, the collimation knobs, and uh, they are uh, here in the in the three legs. They are locked the, in the, the three legs of the, the base of the cell. And uh, here I had as you can see, a, a bungee cord, see? Uh, I tested it to intuitively uh, feel the, um, the balance, the, the best tension to the balance with uh, adjusting the, the longitude of, of it. Uh, and um, it's here with a hook, just with a hook. And then what I do is to lock it here. See? Like that. It's a simple bungee cord. It's, uh, it's double. Double bungee cord. 
and um, what it does is when it's on moving to the zenith you see that makes no tension but when i move the latitude down much down mo much tension it makes so it keeps the balance now with the this kind of setup here with the wheel the thing is that now see now just get stuck when I, I stop at the position see look out smooth and it's in a, a, a placed in a, a equatorial platform which takes a little stability of the setup if it's on the ground with a big rock of course it's more stable and look at this look how smooth it is and um, I just have to when I change my piece of course if I take this out this will move but that's why I have these three uh, objects in the in the in my setup because I I al always need a variable one because when I change my piece before I change I just do like this I slide it up and look I take this uh, heavy weight and gives me time without stress to put another eyepiece adjust just a little because with the now with the bungee cord that's the one thing that I love we just have to move a little slide a little not so much and uh, put the eyepiece again and then adjust to the you will learn uh, which position is better for which eyepiece you use and uh, you get used to this and then look at this i don't even need this if i want the the springs i can put the springs to give even more tension to the setup but i don't need it you see with the springs now they are almost like locking spring, springs if i have to change uh, uh, for a, uh, a very dif different weight of my piece and I, I don't want to to mess the position for example uh, to uh, uh, to take this out all this out and put um, uh, a, a light eyepiece for example or a camera i don't know you can like put the the springs and it, it gets more stuck uh, where it is you, you take this you see it helps but i don't need i, I just prefer for now or with this setup that i am using to use without it because it gets smoother you see look how smooth it is huh? see very nice so uh, and also I can use this at the end I just have to take it off and this is I always use the the cap here my setup is always with this because of the dust especially the dust here in my in my latitude in my region we have a lot of dust from the South Africa from the Sahara desert and uh, it's very important with the wind and especially the dust this is a cap that i use and doesn't pass with a cap with a cap because it's here just moves here and this stay here quiet and okay it's very nice i hope you enjoy this uh, if you have a, a big dog especially a big dog it's very very important the, to, to keep the balance and work with the, the center of gravity, the cog. Um, some people, I saw some people struggling with that, don't know where to put the weight and what weight. And 
for me a fixed one a variable one to adjust very important and now the bungee cord i don't need anything more for me it's the perfect setup so and also this i hope you enjoy it and uh, subscribe to the to the channel and uh, give it a like if you like and cheers